If we were to ask the average person in most of the developed world what we meant if we referred to a dashboard, most would discuss the part of a car that the driver faces as they operate the vehicle. They might talk about how it contains any number of instruments or controls. But we have to remember that the dashboard in general has nothing to do with the actual physical workings of the vehicle. By that, I mean the dashboard itself doesn't turn the engine or hold the oil. Instead, these instruments are simply communicating to the driver what's happening with the different parts of the systems in the vehicle. For example, how fast we happen to be going, if the engine is hot or cold, or perhaps how much fuel is still left in the tank. The dashboard doesn't communicate these things with complex sets of data or readings, but instead via simple, visual elements like gauges or icons. This allows the driver to understand many of the technical and complicated features of a vehicle and all of its related systems, but instead of knowing them all in detail, it translates them into a few simple, easy to understand displays so the driver can understand and make informed decisions. It is this analogy that the business world has leveraged when creating an interface to allow simple, summary, at-a-glance views of complex data. It often relates to business statistics, but it doesn't have to. Dashboards can summarize any data. While business and financial data are certainly the most common, a dashboard could display information about a person's health status over time, or maybe even tracking a favorite sports team's performance. If we think a bit, the possibilities really are endless. What makes dashboards so useful is that they utilize visual elements to organize and summarize otherwise lengthy, voluminous data and guide the viewer's focus to important elements while kind of weeding out the irrelevant data. Dashboards present information in a way that is both quick and easy to understand. They also allow the user or the viewer to interact and customize the data that they're viewing to accommodate what they need to know at that particular moment. In this series, you're going to discover ways to create dynamic dashboards based on Excel worksheets. We're going to do that in order to present data as useful information. You'll gain insight into the benefits and best practices of structuring data so it's optimized for creating dashboards. You'll build a dashboard from the ground up, starting from basic design through the visual components that reflect your source data. You'll create interactive elements so viewers are engaged and have the ability to view information in the way that is most useful and appropriate for them. You'll even learn a few simple ways to export dashboards for use in formats outside of Excel. At the end of this series, you'll have the foundation and the skills to understand the benefits of dashboards and the ability to create engaging dynamic dashboards for your data. So if you're ready to take the driver's seat and see what Excel dashboards can do for your data, then settle in, buckle up, and get ready for an exciting ride.